of you, obviously. Uh, for me, one and only important thing in our game is, uh, and nowadays is more and more present, unfortunately, is a selection. Uh, not occasionally uh, basketball game improve in that way, where uh, it's more important to select the players than to coach them. And uh, unfortunately, because of uh, many other professions became more important that, uh, that the coaching and nowadays in the clubs, for example, you could see that uh, more important than are uh, not even general managers or presidents, how much uh, important are the people which are selected the players. And after that, uh, the problems uh, may be increased because uh, uh, coaches have uh, every day less uh, power uh, in choosing the players and uh, the things became complicated. I am defending the, the coaching rule and uh, I'm, I'm, I was always uh, feel comfortable when I was choosing the, the players and uh, because uh, at the end you have to work them with them on the court. So, um, but anyhow, since I start to coach uh, maybe 40 years ago, uh, I learned from, from uh, my teachers that uh, selection is 50% uh, uh, of the way uh, to the success, that other 50% are uh, working on the court. So uh, selection nowadays, as I explain you, especially in the seniors is uh, more uh, and more important, but uh, another 50% for sure depend of, uh, of the coaches and how uh, we improve them on the, on the court. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would be, uh, as I told you before, I would, I'm always for the 100% of responsibility to the coaches because anyhow they have to work with the, with the players on the court that coaches are choosing, but it's another question and uh, another point of view. Selection anyhow, uh, because I'm sure that on the on the higher level, everyone of us, uh, all 300 of you, uh, me too, for uh, for higher level players, we will not discuss too much. Uh, every one of us will will choose uh, will choose better player uh, for uh, the same better player for for each rule especially when, uh, when I was coaching national teams, the, the opinion is, uh, is very easy. Let's say that uh, on 10 players, every one of us was uh, me, journalist, whoever is president of the federations. On, on 10 players, every one of, of us would choose the same player. Uh, and maybe in the last two players, uh, it could be a difference. But um, this is an example that it's not so difficult to choose who is better or, or, who, or whoever would be uh, prefer to each other. But uh, on, simply the selection is more and more important when you're going back in the, in the youngsters, in uh, under 18, uh, more important in under 16, more important in under 14. So, uh, as Claudio told me that uh, a lot of uh, lot of you are coaching uh, youngsters, uh, because of that I choose to uh, to talk about uh, selection and improvement from uh, from young categories uh, until the end. So um, primary selection uh, when they're Let's say, at first, let's say that uh, uh, I may be strange, but uh, I'm not 
I would divide uh, completely mini basket and uh, and normal basketball. Why? I will explain it because even that is selection, and we as a coaches are uh, every day uh, bring in front of of some choice to do, you know, of some uh, selection to do. Not only on the court, even out of the court. Why did I think that? Uh, at first, uh, human body is not the same. When you're uh, coaching mini basket, uh, you could pretend uh, some uh, technical moves, some fundamentals, especially fundamentals, uh, considering the size and force of, of the body, of the players. So uh, you couldn't do the same things uh, in mini basket and in a, in a normal basketball uh, under 12 or, or, or under 14. Uh, because the, the force of the body is not the same. At least if you like to do the same things, you have to make uh, smaller balls, you have to make lightly balls, you have to make uh, uh, lower uh, baskets to don't punish the technical execution of the move. So uh, because of that, uh, I'm uh, completely against uh, doing the same drills uh, with the same uh, balls, with the same baskets uh, on, the, on the different age. And that age for sure is not uh, between uh, 10 uh, years old guy or girl, and uh, 13 or 14. So because of that, uh, when I was coaching the, the youngsters 40 years ago, uh, I was on opinion that, uh, at least in the former Yugoslavia, we, all of us was, uh, was doing the same thing. We was uh, starting with the basketball at the age of uh, 11, uh, not later than uh, at the age of uh, 12 years, but um, for sure mini basket was uh, completely uh, other point of view because of all those problems and maybe because of the not, not uh, having the same conditions, uh, we was not working too much on, on mini basket. There is an example as a, as a former uh, top European and uh, world level player Drajan Dalipagic who was uh, starting the, the basketball career at the age of 15 years for example for uh, for nowadays it's uh, it's not uh, it's not possible uh, he was playing uh, table tennis he was playing uh, soccer uh, until that age but with the basketball he he really started on at the age of 15 years old so um, this is another example that uh, maybe, maybe uh, starting later is not so big problem than to start earlier with, uh, with a different uh, and the wrong uh, point of, uh, of working with the, with the players, which is for sure not with the, with the same uh, basketball uh, as uh, adults or uh, on the same level of the of the baskets, on the same highness of the baskets, because uh, you know better than me that uh, all the technical movements, for example, for the shooting, uh, which is not uh, which will bring the players to uh, to to change our consulting how to shoot, how to execute the the shootings or or dribbling or or passing, because um, very often they're making unnatural uh, movements just to uh, to satisfy us and we have to recognize that uh, this is because of the uh, their body is still not uh, able to do the things as we are uh, as we are uh, insisting so this is the first uh, selection you have to take care about uh, about the uh, on age on which you start to pretend I, I decide to talk with you about, um, let's say, starting on 12 years. Uh, and everything before that have to be, uh, for me, it has to be bring into, into mini basket. Uh, 
at the age of 12 years, it's very important where all the players are, uh, let's say, basketball lovers, every one of them like to become player. Uh, we have to give them at that age, we have to give them uh, same possibility how to, how to develop them. I'm against, uh, one more time, I'm against uh, competition, leagues, uh, championships, uh, for the level of uh, 12, 12 or 13 years old players. Because even that is bringing some unnatural uh, situations from technical point of view. Because uh, just to win, at first coaches think just to win, because if you're winning, uh, you will be considered better. Uh, I'm not uh, agree with that because I think that on that level it's important to produce the players and giving the uh, giving the all of them same possibility. Uh, sometime I I will be maybe uh, unpopular uh, for my club or whoever is uh, giving me that job, but I would be at least I would be honest with all those players which. Uh, have the same wish to become players in front of their parents, in front of all of them, giving them all the same possibility. I'm talking about, repeating, I'm talking about the age of 12 and 13 years. So, uh, I think that uh, on that level, it's not a mistake to give them five minutes in a row to play when they're playing uh, on the on the practice but i would uh, consult uh, to play every day not official games against another uh, another teams not championships but on every game i would uh, consult you to to make them play because they are coming because of the playing because of the of the basketball game, because they like to become uh, same as uh, as Michael Jordan or or whoever is, uh, they like to shoot. Uh, give them every day shooting drills. Give them as more shooting drills you have, uh, without uh, possibility and without uh, showing who is better between them. Uh, this is natural. They are not stupid. They will, they will understand who is better. So, in the, in the young age, selection is, let's say, even easier because you don't have to choose. You don't have to select. You don't have to, uh, to win. You don't have to, to, to participate in the championship. So, uh, shooting and, uh, and playing basketball game, I'm consulting you to, to do every day you're going on the court with that age, I'm talking. Uh, plus, give them, as I told you, uh, give them five minutes game. Give them games until 12, uh, 12. Give them games until 20. Separate them in different teams. Uh, and that will create mechanism even between them who is better, who is, uh, who is uh, more futurable, who is, uh, who is more present on the, on the, on the practices. I was, to, to stimulate them, I have to be uh, honest, I was very cruel when I was coaching that, that uh, age of players. And um, to make selection, between them you have to, to 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 put them in conditions to select to select between them among them to select who is more uh, who is more appreciating the rules who is more basketball lover uh, but you have to be honest and between them to don't create ulterior competition you just have to say the rules and they have to respect and who more, who respect more those rules, uh, it's normal. Naturally, he will uh, 
improve him even in the selection will be better. Uh, as I told you, I was very cruel. In the summers, very often, I was uh, telling them uh, tomorrow practice will be at 5 o'clock uh, a.m. in the morning. Uh, they was not uh, believing, the, the, the parents was not believing that I'm, uh, I'm calling them at 5 o'clock in the morning. So why? You would ask me why. Because I like to make the test between them who will wake up at 4.30 to come at the practice at 5 while the, the sun was growing up at, uh, at 5.15 maybe. And uh, I was like to select even the player, even the parents to see which parent will not permit him, his uh, son or, or, or daughter, in, if you're coaching the, the girls, uh, which will not permit to, to go on basketball at 5 o'clock uh, in the morning. It was not every day. It was once in, uh, in 15 days, uh, once uh, in, maybe in, in 10 days. But I create them, selection between them, even with those uh, unpopular, unlogical, from some point of, of view, uh, unlogical uh, things, but I like to create them uh, connection with, uh, with the basketball and to show each other why did they like to, to work more and more and more to, and more sacrifice themselves to become basketball players. Because for me, uh, to be a basketball player was a very serious thing. It was not only losing the time and uh, let's uh, find uh, each other uh, to, to enjoy. So um, this is another point where I like to, uh, to tell you to think how to create them uh, selection, uh, how to create them uh, points where they have to decide what to do, to follow you but you have to be honest in front of the basketball or to permit them to come later on the practice, to don't come on some practice. Uh, unfortunately, if someone is not in love with basketball, you couldn't help too much. You couldn't do nothing. And from my point of view, it's better to, to leave them another way instead to, to work on, uh, on basketball court and uh, spending your time for uh, for nothing so coming back on the court uh, as i told you uh, i am against the uh, games official games i am for the games but every day and every practice for the shooting drills competition between them for sure create them competition but um, against official games uh, and I am for sure that uh, every day on the practice uh, they have to, to work and on that age I wouldn't insist even on the quickness. I wouldn't insist, I would insist on that age in the drills one on zero, especially on, on 12 years, one on zero and technically to do the, the fundamentals as you need. I would consult you to be very clear, to, to, to change yourself to how to, uh, to think, to make them always better and better. Go into very small particularities. Uh, go and always try to, to invent, even you, some clear communication with them. Uh, the ball have to be shoot best that way. Uh, the, the fingers have to be uh, those, for example, those two have to be different, those uh, four have to be different. So even you try always to make better yourself too. And making better yourself, you will make them better too, for sure. Just to, to bring them focused on the things uh, you need. So one more time, I'm for 
one on zero at the age of 12 years, I'm against one on one. That one on one, give them just when they play. Just, just when they play, give them uh, one on one or five on five. But uh, when you're working, just to make better fundamentals at the age of 12 years, I would make them only one on zero, where they will not have physical contact because their bodies are still not for the physical contacts. Their bodies on 12 years needs only a perfect execution of the fundamentals, which on that age don't have to be even quick, even fast. Uh, it have to be, and for sure, it have to be making more space uh, when they're dribbling with, every, with each dribble to earn more space. Uh, they have to be, uh, for sure, more high when they jump. Uh, for sure, uh, to take their individual uh, possibilities of their physics. So everything has to be higher, faster, uh, quicker, but in one on zero for each personal capacity of their body. Uh, why did I told you, why did I don't insist too much on the drills in one-on-one on that uh, age? Because for sure they are not able to, to do that. They will forget or they will hide their technical capacity when in the moment when they have a physical contact. Let that physical contact not important at the age of 12 years when, and let it only when they play uh, the games, scrimmages between them. This is only natural way. But don't punish your work, uh, the work you're making with them every day on one on zero, on basketball fundamentals, how to dribble, how to change a direction, how to uh, execute the shoot, how to execute the deny, how to execute the, uh, everything you're doing, let them free to do it, to do that in one on zero, uh, let them to do that in, uh, in completely their autonomy of execution, for sure, how, how, it, how much is faster, uh, quicker, everything, uh, but in one on zero. One on one is just for the age of 13 years uh, when we're preparing them how to start to compete. Even on 13 years, I am against uh, official championships. Uh, how to start to compete at the age of 14, which have to be first level of competition between them maybe on a school level, maybe even on a national federation level, but uh, for sure not uh, for, uh, for international level because those bodies are still not uh, ready to, to fight, to, to make uh, competition and on the court who is better. When they're going on at the age of 13, and when you start to, to work on, uh, even on one-on-one -on -one and only on one-on-one, -on -one, no two-on-two, no three-on-three, uh, we will add, going from 12 years to 13, we will add only one, another step. How to play one-on-one, -on -one, where, without forgetting that their bodies are still not ready, but without forgetting that you have to continue to work one on zero. Now, in one year, stronger bodies, bigger, uh, more ready to execute to, and to go out while uh, we are talking for the shoot. I forgot to tell you, on the 12 years, it's not necessary to shoot from three points. For sure, because as far they're going to shoot, as more they will shoot unnatural. 
So um, when I was coaching that age, but even later, even later, sometime even from tactical point of view with the seniors, when I need to 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 insist more on inside game, I was changing the rules on the on the on the practice when we was playing uh, one against uh, each other team. Uh, for example, for shooting from uh, pa- from the paint, scoring from the paint was three point. Uh, scoring from uh, from out of the paint to the to the uh, three point line was two points. And the shooting from three points was one point. So I was obligating the players to, to think on an uh, inside game. So now going back on our discussion how to, to coach uh, on, on 13 years. Uh, for sure, I told you, I wouldn't uh, permit them at the age, excuse me, on 12 years to shoot from three point. I know that they're coming for that to shoot, to shoot even from three point. But for me as a coach, it's not necessary that because it's too early. Because shooting from three point, they will exhaust uh, their their wish to shoot from three point. But for me as a coach, will create more problem because they will shoot unnaturally. So, at the age of 13 years, I would start to bring them to shoot not only from the paint, but even from out of the paint until three-point line. I would permit them, knowing that they will at least uh, as less change their technical of uh, technique of shoot. So, if on 12 years I would insist them to shoot only from the paint. If on 13 years I would sh- insist that they shoot until the three-point line, you could see that only from 14 years age, when their body will be more ready and they will be ready to, to technically to execute the shoot considering their size and their force of their body, only on, on the age of 14 years, I would permit them to shoot from three point. When they will be ready to don't punish the technical execution, which I spend with them for two years, and they will be ready now, only at the age of 14 years to shoot from three point. So, I'm sure that uh, you understand. You understand me. How much is important in the uh, right time to coach them uh, in the right way, considering their uh, their uh, force of of their body. So this is very important where we don't have to make mistake, because if we make mistake there, everything later will be only increasing of the mistakes or the the things we do good with them and it will follow them for the rest of of their careers where on some point of view someone will remain disappointed and will leave basketball and maybe maybe it was the player which we don't have to lose so uh, because of that, I'm telling you, don't select nothing until the age of 14. When they will start to have first games, official games, let them to decide who is better. For you and for all the people in the gyms, it's clear who is better. So you will not invent nothing if someone play 40 minutes and if someone don't play any minute. But this is mistake. Because you are not giving possibility at the age of 14 years maybe that someone someone, uh, decide that he have to leave that. 
and it will be your mistake. You will be unpopular as a coach, as a man, as a person, because you don't give them possibility to play, because you keep, you keep them on the bench. It's not honest to, to put someone because it, the team will have more possibility to win. That someone play 40 minutes and someone play zero minutes. Everyone have to play. And this is at the age of 14 years, you have to control yourself, even with losing some game. The win at 14 years, no one remember who win the championship at the age of 14 years, neither two years ago. <coughs> to don't talk about 15 years ago, but everyone remember that that player in the seniors make that good for Romanian basketball or, or for European basketball or whoever basketball is. So at the age of 14 years, take from technical point of view, when you are 101 on 13, 100 on 12, 101 on, uh, on uh, 13, two on two, on 14, you're starting them to bring them into situation to, to the normal basketball, which is five on five at, at the seniors. So don't hurry, don't uh, think to win, don't protect who is better, uh, give the possibility because even that who is better needs someone to to make him better so give them all of them same possibility to to play give them same possibility it's very easy to select who is better they have to decide between them who is better you have only to protect them and to be to to, to be guarantee that everyone have same conditions, talking about the age of 14 years. Until 14 years, I'm against even to play with olders because uh, the age, not occasionally in English, you have teenagers and older than teenagers or younger than teenagers. So teenagers are starting from 13. So even the word is telling you that age of 12 and age of 13 to 19 is not the same. Physically, mentally, however it is. Because of that, I'm coming one more time back. Until 12, it's one basketball, since 12 is another basketball. So, uh, talking about the age, only the age of 18 could be considered senior level. So, 18 because of the of the physically pot, uh, body because of his physically potential uh, only 18 years and not every 18 years not every 19 years could play with 20 and older as i talking to you about the word even the word of 19 is still teenager but age of 20 which even the words show you is not anymore uh, young. 20 or 33 is the same way from physical point of view. So coming one more, one more time back, even the ages of from 13 to 19, every year is different. Because of that, I am from physical point of view, I am against that uh, in that age, players play against older age. So when you're 14, 
I wouldn't recommend to play with 15. Unfortunately, because of one more time, because of a physical uh, contact on the court, which for the maybe good technically uh, developed player by you, when he go against uh, older one, he will change his abilities, his technical capacity you uh, make him on the court with his age or when uh, even with the youngers. So until 14 years, I wouldn't recommend for sure, even, even on, on 15 years, I wouldn't permit to play with, uh, with, sec with 16 years. When they're on 16 years, I would start to, to, to think to play with the 17 or even with 18, because both, all of them are teenagers and maybe someone is more developed physically, but it depends from you. You have to decide because of all those point of view, who could play with, uh, with others or, uh, or not. So those are the things which until uh, 14 years, I've told you only two on two, uh, for sure one on one, uh, in the same group of the age, in the same, uh, let's say in the same limit of, of their physical capacity, where you could permit them to show their individual qualities uh, on the court. It's still not time to, to be better. It's still not time to, uh, to choose who is better. It's time to, to, to work with them and, uh, and develop them. Uh, I have to remember one more time. I will I will tell that uh, maybe it's not the wrong word that uh, I was uh, cruel uh, when I was coaching uh, the youngsters. But when they bring uh, their age, I'm talking about about the youngsters which I was coaching. And at the, end, at the end, they give me big, big satisfactions. At the end, I will tell you why and where they give me big, big satisfactions. When they came at the end of uh, 16 years, I made all my selections. Because I was analyzing that it's no way that all the generation could go in the first team. Uh, there is the first choices between two players uh, I start to make at the cadets at 18 or 16 years and how did I do that until they was un under 15 uh, I have for each year under 15 uh, 15 players under 14 uh, two groups of 15 players, under 13, three groups of 15 players, under 12, four groups of 15 players. So I start every year to cut one team from four groups of 15, I'm talking for the My Club, uh, from four group of 15, uh, we go into 13 years age, three group of 15, into 14 years age, two group, groups of 15, into 15 years age, two groups of 15. And when they came at the age of 16, I made only one team and two players on each rule, uh, three players, excuse me, three players on each rule under 16, only one team. Only one team of under 16, and on each rule, three players. But when they finished that, I drastically changed from three groups of, from five groups of three players each rule, 
I go into only only five players at the age of under six, 17. which became which uh, which became excuse me two uh, two groups of five players under 17 which with five players of under 18 only five players made a team which was under 18 and making the championship national championship where only five players was under 18 and other 10 players was under 17. And they already knows that at the end of that championship, and now from technical point of view, they're playing everything. Three on three, five on five, zone, which until under 16 was not played into my team at least. Uh, we teach them everything into under 17 and under 18. But having 10 players under 17 and five players and only one per rule, only one player per rule, they know already that from those 10 under 17 players, next year, five of them have to go out to the other teams. Because they will be the players which will be five of under 18 next year. And first team will take whatever is they need from those five players which are now 19 years old. And they have to play with the first team. So let's say that uh, how the, it, from the beginning the selection is large from technical point of view, one on zero on 13 years is smaller from technical point of view, one on one, 14, 14 years, two, two on two, uh, always make a selection which at the end on the age of, uh, of 18 years will bring only five players, let's say perfectly, how, how much uh, we could on the court, uh, developed technically uh, on the games, uh, educated uh, in the basketball, how at the end they come, we are following them until the first team. And when they are in the first team, uh, at the age of 19 years, now became everything more complicated because market is coming, someone like to, to buy your player, you like to, you have to sell someone, which is not for your needness, you have to sell someone somewhere else, maybe uh, you'll need uh, some young players of 13 years, which you don't have, giving that from 19 years, which you already don't need anymore. So then it's another, another situation. But from, uh, from technical and coaching point of views, I try to to explain you the, how the things have to be uh, have to go parallel every uh, day, every year, until you don't make you're not uh, because of their age you're not invited to make uh, the choices. So uh, I uh, I. I'm ready to, to talk with you, to, to answer on some of your uh, things you, you like to ask, because for me it's not, uh, it's not easy to, to talk only because the basketball at the end uh, it's, it's on the court and we have to, to talk on the court. So please ask me something. What, what's, what, do, what did you need? Hi, I'm Flavius. Uh, I have a question. When you put accent uh, uh, one on zero, twelve years uh, age, do you put also accent on two against one? Do you go with uh, superiority uh, two against one? For sure, for sure. 
because it's end up in one against zero. For sure. And two three against two, what age do you put on? For sure. Uh, two against one is good for all the levels because uh, at least you're giving them idea how to think on the court and show their brain. Because two on one is easier. You just have to find the way how to concrete your uh, advantage. And for sure, two on one is uh, better, even from technical point of view. You will not destroy your natural way of execution. Because with the pass, you could always pass the ball one on zero. You still have a defender, that's why I'm asking. Uh, you're asking for the defender. Well, you still have a defender, it's, it's coming one against one, and then you pass to one against zero. Yes, yes. So you, so you still have first time one against one, and then uh, one against zero. Yes, but, but I'm, I'm, coaching, I'm coaching the pass. I'm coaching the brain. How to don't play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, thank you. I have a question, sir. Coach, yes. I have a question too. Yes, please. I couldn't see you because I'm seeing only the people which are not uh, talking. Uh, so I have a question. You discuss about the speed uh, in the young ages. My question is, if you work on one on zero or uh, drills, technical drills, because we had the discussion in our club. Uh, and I was uh, at the idea to, to ask them to play on maximum speed. What do you think to ask for speed or to ask for maximum speed what they have? Uh, on young I, ages, have... I mean on young ages when you're working one on zero. Excellent. I'm nothing against maximum speed without the ball. And with the ball? With the ball, I would not insist on when you are doing the things uh, technically from zero, let's say from not movement, when they're, when they're on the court without moving. I wouldn't insist on maximum speed until technically they're not perfect. Mm -hmm. I would add the quickness, the speedness, the execution only on a perfect technically execution I at the it. age of 12. Yes, yes, I would, I would ask him that. Thank you. Because, because you could add that only when the things are technically perfected. If not, thinking only how to do it faster, you will lose technically uh, perfection of the execution. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm Hello. repeating, the age of 12 still don't need us to win, still don't need us to show that you're better than someone. You're still uh, teaching ABC of basketball. And because of that, I'm first to, to reach the technical uh, perfection and then on that technical perfection to add the, the quickness of execution. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Alex Glicka from Turgujiu. Hi. I, I ask you... At what age do we start to specialize him on position, players, junior players? At the age of 14. At the age of 14, when uh, they start uh, first official games, uh, until the age of 13, I would prefer that everyone play everything. Okay, thanks. Because we're preparing them for senior professional basketball. 
and you don't know at the age of 24 when they will need to win the playoff game, uh, if someone who today is short, maybe will have to play on the low post back to the basket against shorter player than him. So, um, and at the age of uh, 13, we still don't know how much that player will have uh, his uh, uh, final tallness. Uh, because of that, until the age of 13, I'm uh, that, uh, in, uh, with the opinion that everyone has to play everything. Very often, I forgot to tell you, very often, when they're on age of 14, and we told that they're specialized to play some, something, very often I was giving an order. Now, five times in the row, I like that you pass on the low post. And five times in the row, you, Mircea, I like to see you, what are you able to do in one-on-one? -on -one? So, completely responsibility. Let me show what did you uh, learn in the last three years, 12, 13, 14? And now when we are playing game, I like that in the next five uh, offenses, you play one-on-one. -on -one. The other four players will be here, here, here and there to neutralize some double team on you. But I like the truth. How are you able to resolve that one-on-one -on -one? without the pick on you, with the pick on you, in the movement, uh, fixed on the court, uh, talking about big man. Next five times, you, playmaker, you have to create one-on-one -on -one for you uh, until on the fir first uh, competitive age, on 14, Everything has to be one-on-one, -on -one. or at least two-on-two, -two, but anyhow, at the end, one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if you, uh, you understand me. I understand you completely. Thanks. Thanks. Hello. Hello. You hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, Hi. Please. Talk louder. Hi, I, I'm, I'm Razvan from Cluj. So I would like to ask you, when you select a player with uh, 18 years old in a senior team, uh, how you integrate him in the team? And when you uh, don't think about him like a young player and you can count on him like a senior? Uh, my... Uh philosophy which I told about the youngsters uh, is always saying uh, sometime if you couldn't choose who is better at least you have to give them all the same opportunity to all of them the court have to choose who is better because of that I I think that every player, because of everyday uh, seriousness to dedicate his life to the basketball, every player needs to play the game. And me, as a coach, have to find that opportunity. I, I am against the coaches, at least I am not that, which don't use some player. So having player 40 minutes on the bench uh, don't help no one. The player will be more disappointed. Uh, during the week, he will not help you because he is not, uh, during the week, he, he don't have motivation to work. If he is sure 
that he will play the next game. Doesn't matter, one minute, three minutes, five minutes, it depends on him. And you have to be able to give him, to find him that opportunity. The game is so long, you will not lose the game because some young player played three minutes. Forget it. And don't hide uh, behind that. No one will lose the game because uh, 18 years old player played three minutes, which could be five minutes if he played good, which could be eight minutes if he played good. But if he played three minutes and not good, be sure that you will not lose the game because he played those three minutes. But repeating, you have to be able to find those three minutes. Considering your uh, courage, considering your uh, risk, your wish to risk, uh, it depends on you. I don't know if you understand me or, or you need... Uh, uh, no, no, I understand perfectly, perfectly. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Uh, Andre from Yash. Uh, I admire the concept of giving everybody time and taking it slow. So my question is, most of us have two top three practices per week. And my guess is that if we go that slow, we might end up at U18 with guys that barely dribble the ball when they face contact. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you you have the luxury of calling your kids at 5 o'clock in the morning when most of us are facing that we don't have where to call them. And, okay, during the summer, I get it, but winter, autumn, and, like, spring – is very tough. What would you recommend? Like, maybe, maybe some type of, I don't know, practice planning. Like, how how would you do it if you were in our shoes? It's not easy. It's not easy because um, the numbers are everything. So if you're if you have uh, three practices per week. Uh, you are at the beginning uh, in a in a bad situation. Uh, it, it's um, it's not easy. You have to find uh, more uh, more uh, time, more better conditions to work uh, to invent some other conditions. I don't know how, but uh, with two or three practices per week. Uh, I couldn't punish my point how to develop. I couldn't invent nothing. If I, I could invent uh, something, if you if you tell me that you could have uh, ten practices per week, but uh, with with the three practices uh, per week, uh, unfortunately, you have to uh, to punish yourself and uh, without giving all your best, but it don't depend of you. It don't depend of you. Yeah, if, uh, if, if uh, in that case, you have to, to renounce on, uh, on uh, some development of the players and, uh, and instead to do whatever I'm, I'm doing on 12 years, you have to do it on... Uh, uh, no, what, whatever I'm, I'm doing on 13 years, you have to do it on 12. Uh, whatever I'm doing on 15 years, you have to do it on, uh, on 13. But it's not natural, you know? Yeah, so it's, you, you, you give some, you take some. That's somewhere we can... Yes, uh, yes, give. yes. Thank yes, you. But, but uh, uh, unfortunately, even when you're making bread, uh, it, it needs uh, some uh, faces, you know. Uh, you have to to make to to put f uh, flour. Uh, after that, uh, you have to add water. You you, you everything needs uh, have his uh, his time of needness, you know. Yes, Hello. thank you. That's exactly what we're facing, and uh, I was thinking maybe there is some magical formula, but I guess there's not. 
unfortunately, I consider myself too much serious, <laughs> and uh, and I couldn't uh, invent a magical formula. You know. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi, coach. Can Hi. you hear me? Yes. Uh, coach, I have a question from an offensive point of view. So, yes. uh, how much emphasis do you put on one-on-one -on -one during uh, young ages, U16, U18? Uh, and what is the difference between one-on-one -on -one play in these young categories and uh, in senior level uh, going into one-on-zero creating something out of pick and roll or out of uh, something else. So what is the difference between one-on-one -on -one in senior level and one-on-one -on -one in junior level? Where do you want more one-on-one? -on -one? Let's say that in a senior level, one-on-one -on -one is tactical decision. In uh, To put one-on-one -on, -one on some pl our player uh, which could make a difference. Uh, on young on youth categories one on one is uh, more educated more uh, um, wish to uh, to create uh, to develop them as a players because uh, on senior levels uh, games are more important the result is more important and because of that i'm playing one on one in a senior level only when i'm sure that on that point i have advantage and uh, that is not necessary to play uh, five on five uh, until uh, if you if you could resolve it with one on one or three on three or two on two if you could it resolve it with one on one you know let's say that on seniors is tactical on uh, on on juniors is uh, is technical wish to play one on one. So you will emphasize playing one on one in junior level. You want one on one into junior level, so the Absol players understand. Ab abs absolutely, as I as I told as I told before, uh, on under sixteen, uh, I'm even uh, ordering uh, to the players pass five times in a row next five offenses on that player on the low post to see what he's able to do without thinking even if, even if it couldn't make an advantage i don't take care about that i don't take care that we score i take care only how to make him better okay thank you coach you're welcome Uh, hello coach i would hello. like to first of all thank you for the presentation i would like to maybe follow up on uh, uh, the question before uh, can you please tell us in your opinion what is the let's say uh, perfect amount of practices for each category starting from 12 uh, i mean per week practices per week starting from 12 all the way up to to 18 years old and the second question, when do you think it's uh, good for juniors, and if it's good, of course, to play two games in a week? Two games in a? In a week, in a week. So let's say they play Saturday and Sunday. Is it good? And if it is, from which age? I, I'm not against that. Uh, for sure, from the age of uh, as younger as more they could play that uh, age of 14, age of 16. Let's say how the age is going older, it's better to play only one game because the importance, the, the forces, the physical uh, forces uh, have to be concentrated on, on, on one game uh, during the week. But if they have 14 years or 16 years and the importance of the game is not so big, but the wish to develop them as a player, why not to play Saturday and Sunday in under 14 or, or under 16? And for the, for the practicing, 
as more as better is for sure. And as the as the coach from Yash told, uh, unfortunately, if you don't have to, uh, more than three times per week, you couldn't make more, even if you like. But if you have more uh, space during the week, why not even every day? Doesn't matter the age. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Coach, one question. I'm Mihai from Deva. Hi, Mihai. Uh, do you think it's a good idea for kids, young age, to have individual practice with someone who is specialized like an individual uh, trainer or a coach? No. No. I, I'm not. I'm not uh, I appreciate all the coaches and I think that uh, as it's team sport, every club needs uh, to engage the, the specialist, maybe. But uh, with the inventors of basketball, which are out of the system, out of the clubs, out of the federations, uh, because they uh, name themselves specialists, it's not enough for me. I, don't, I, I couldn't see why those specialists are not involved in the clubs, in the system. Okay, thank you. Hi, coach. I have one more question, if it's possible. Thanks. Hi. Hi, coach. One more question. Yes. How you manage? How you manage a situation when you have a player better than his age? For example, he's 13 years old, and his value it's around 14, 15 years old. And I'm talking about here also the national teams. From what age you can pu put him uh, to play to a higher category? For example, if he's a national team, uh, 15 years old, you from what age you you'll put him to 18 or 17 if he can manage the. How do I say the? I I already course. told I already told that uh, until under 15, I wouldn't uh, make them playing. With the with the stronger than them, even if he's stronger than his average, uh, than than his age, I wouldn't uh, give them to to play against uh, physically stronger players because the every year on that age have a big difference physically, and uh, impact with the older and stronger player on that age could be very very difficult. Uh, about them and uh, but when they're on 16 years I would make first step to make them playing with under 18 maybe but only that age only under 16 with under 18 thank you thanks I forget I forget to tell that in your selection now when when you are giving me some questions I I rem I remember myself. What did I I uh, forget to told you? It's very important. It's very important to don't hide uh, behind good offensive players because the basketball is playing on both parts of the court. And I have very, very bad examples where coaches was hiding behind good offensive players, permitting them to don't play defense. And those players don't help no one. I have players which I, I, I remember, which was excellent offensive players. And they, with those uh, quality, came in to, even into the, into the national teams. But when they go on the market, they never continued uh, their development because they was 
bad, uh, very bad defensive players. Uh, I don't know if you understand me, but uh, please don't hide, don't make that mistake. Maybe some player will make 20 points because he's a good shooter, because he's good one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe he will make you win some game. But it's not helping him at first, and it's not helping you as second. Because he's uh, giving you some, let's say, less uh, headache in the offense, but in defense, he is worst, and no one couldn't make him better. Please appreciate both parts of the court on the same level. Because even it's, even it's better that someone is an excellent defensive player, you could find him the spot in the offense. He could be good passer, he could be good picker, he could be a good offensive rebounder. He don't need to shoot maybe. Because there are five players and the ball is only one. Only one could shoot the ball. The other four have to do some other, some other things. But if that player is only able to shoot the ball, and he is not doing nothing less in offense, and especially in defense, you create a monster. The, only that. Do you hear me? Hello? Yes, we hear you. Ah, okay. Okay. I was, I was telling you, I'm telling you uh, concrete, without the names, uh, examples which in my 40 years coaching experience I, I, I've made. Uh, and at the beginning I told you uh, that uh, maybe later I will, I will tell you why did this way of thinking give me satis satisfactions because the first age which I uh, coached was the age the, the players was born 1972 and uh, it gave me a lot of satisfaction when at the 1999 uh, on European Championship with my national team uh, I have in the starting five, I have three of those players, so three out of five, uh, which pass this way of selection I've explained you. Uh, three of them was born with, with me, with myself, because I, I was their first coach and they was my first player. And for me, it became a big, big satisfaction when at the... Uh, it was, let's say, 12 years later, we meet each other and three of them was uh, in, the, in the starting five on, uh, on my national team on European Championship. So it was big, big satisfaction for me and big confirm that uh, I do my best with them, same as they do their best with me. So all those situations which I... I start to, to, to talk with you, to discuss with you uh, one hour and a half ago, uh, it, was, it, it was really exist, existed. It, was re, it uh, made me um, convinced that uh, I do my best, they do their best uh, with me. After 12 years when we meet each other, then uh, they was at the age of 26 to 27 years old, but it was confirmed that the, the first six years of, uh, of uh, my coaching and their playing basketball was really produced something uh, concrete.
Uh, hello, coach. My name is Marcel Tenter. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining uh, this uh, clinic and accepting to to be part of it. Uh, Thanks to you. Thanks to you. <laughs> okay. Um, we enjoyed very much uh, your thoughts and your uh, experience in basketball, and uh, we expect you to be more active in the life of Romanian basketball. Thank you for everything what you did for us. Thanks to you. Best to you, all of you. Okay, good luck, coach. We stay in touch. You too.